Okay, to work out the probability that x is less than 162, and we're working with a normal distribution here that has a population mean of 160, and which has a variance of 25, or 5 squared, same thing, and a standard deviation of 5. Okay, using the standardizing formula, Z is equal to X minus the mean over sigma. We substitute these values into here. So then we have X, which is this, that's the 162, minus the mean, 160, divided by the standard deviation. So that gives you 2 over 5, which is 0 0.4. And uh, when you're working out these z values you should round them to two decimal places exactly because that's the accuracy of the probability tables. Okay the next step is to do a sketch of the standardized normal distribution so that we have z here, zero in the center and we know the standardized normal distribution typically when you sketch it you have one 2 and 3 there, then minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 on this side. So I've got 0 0.4 there and what I'm trying to work out here is the probability that Z is less than 0 0.40. Look at this standardizing process that we went through with this formula that modifies that X there and that becomes Z that was less than, that's still the same, less than, and that 162 was standardized to 0 0.4. Okay, so that value there is 0 0.4, 0 on the axis here. And I'm shading to the left. So if I shade to the left, like this, okay, that's done. And now we're ready to go to the uh, probability tables. And probability tables here, I'm on them, uh, page 24 of the formula book and you've got Z values on the outside and inside here, these values here are probabilities. The Z value that we're working with is 0 0.4 0. Okay, so the first decimal point comes from this column here, that was the 4 and the second decimal point comes from this row here and that's the value that we have. Okay, so the probability that we're looking for is this, 0 0.65542.